Aloha my kako and welcome to my channel. It's been a long ass time, but I'm here to say that I'm here to stay. This is the Cargo Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. You had me at Aloha. This is a Canadian brand, I believe, and they were inspired by Hawaii, and this was in collaboration with Anuhea. I haven't had a chance to use this really because one, I don't go out, and two, the Modern Renaissance palette is kind of my go-to. I use everything in there, and I don't really have a use for any other palette. Um, but I just wanted to give this one another try because it still has like um, a lot of good colors and I just wanted to make a, uh, a look out of it. So here it is. So like most of my videos, this will be very informal and probably long because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, not that I don't know what I'm doing, but like I don't know what look I'm going to do. So um, bear with me. <clears throat> what the fuck? First of all, I've got some new techniques here. I'm just gonna let y'all know now because it's been a while and I've got some things that I do. Okay, maybe not some things, like maybe one thing. So it's been really uh, cloudy and rainy for the past, I think, month and I've been very depressed about it. And that's why, like, there's no sun. You just, you can tell there's no sun. I'm using like artificial light and it sucks. So now that the plane is gone, um, I'm gonna start off with my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist thingy. I bought this at Sephora when I was in Oahu um, in January um, because it, it, it like supposedly su is supposed to like tone your skin. <laughs> Whatever that means. So what else? It feels good. It uses like rice from like somewhere in East Asia or something so it's gotta be good for your skin so I just put like five spritz maybe a little bit more because I didn't feel anything there we go this is kind of like what I do for work um, except I don't actually do the full eye makeup or anything but like I usually just use this just because I don't see a anything beneficial or I just haven't noticed anything but it it's kind of cool what I first will do is use the young blood CC perfecting primer to prime my skin I saw this a thing on Twitter that like showcases how important it is to prime your skin I'll show it right now yeah so that shit's important man prime your skin Anyway, I, I'm only putting this on pla places that are really porous. So like um, my nose area and um, my cheeks and anywhere really that um, I put a lot of skin stuff on. Because I'm going to do eye stuff, um, usually I do the face first and then I do the eyes. That's what I do usually for work. But since I'm like doing actual eye stuff, then I'm going to put the eye stuff first. I'm going to take this island. <laughs> I'm not going to take this island. I am not a colonizer. Um, I'm going to take this shade. It's called the island. Wait, I didn't even put on primer. It's been so long. Like, I don't even know what the fuck to do anymore. I'm gonna use this Black Radiance Perfecting Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm gonna put that on my eyeballs. My eyeballs get really oily throughout the day, as does my entire face. But when I wear mascara and or liquid eyeliner, I like to put on... Um, sometimes I'll put on primer and then... Um, use my Fenty Beauty to pat all over it with powder so that it stays dry for most of the day because the oiliness is legit like I always say I can cook spaghetti with the amount of oil that I have in my face every morning like every morning I'm just ready to cook spaghetti right when I wake up no contest just like to feel to make sure there's no tackiness because if there's tackiness then it's hard to blend your eyeshadows so I'm gonna take that shade I was talking about earlier 
and put it on my crease. I still don't know what shades I'm going to be using. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is take Lay, it's called Lay, and put that as my um, actual crease shade. I'm using a very tiny brush. I feel like I've done this look before. So if you don't want to watch it because it looks like every other fucking video I have, then don't fucking watch it. I'm going to take a bigger one and just blend that upwards. I want to make it into a wing. So I'm going to use this um, angled brush and then just wing it. So now that you have a shape, take um, another small brush and dip it into a darker shade. And I'm going to use blue out of the darker purple and I'm just going to bring that in the inner outer corner for depth purposes. Before I um, finish that up, I'm going to take the color Shell and put that on my um, lid. And because that's not vibrant enough, I'm going to take my setting spray and I'm just going to spray my brush, dip it in shell again, and then try it again. So what that does is it locks the moisture and it sticks it the fuck on your eyeball. And then so now that that's on and I've got a shape then I'm going to play with this so that it's like smooth to um, finish off the eyes I'm going to use Hula the shimmery white and I'm gonna put that over on my eyebrow bone Whatever so just to highlight all the random hairs I have that I won't pluck so for the skin, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty um, Matchsticks in Walnut. This is the only thing I put on my face nowadays, and it's been kind to me. So since I already have primer on, I'm just going to stick this in, and I'm going to use my fingers because it is the best kind of application. So I only put a little bit because I don't really need that much coverage. Thankfully, just cover um, any discoloration, some of my freckles, maybe some acne scars. And then I'm going to add concealer. Um, since my face is pretty okay this week, um, I'm going to just put it under my eyes to conceal the fucking bag. Because these bags are Prada and you don't want anyone stealing it. Again, I'm just going to use my nasty little fingers. Rub that in. Not rub it in, but pat it in gently. I feel like my neighbor is watching me put on makeup in front of the camera. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty. What the shit is this called? 
Invisimat blotting powder. And I'm going to powder that all over my face. I put a shit ton because my face is fucking oily, okay? Don't fucking judge me. Um, we're not done with the eyeballs yet, but I like to finish my face before I continue on with that. I'm just gonna take this Giordana um, Touch of Pink blush and I'm going to use it as a contour and it's very subtle because you don't want to take away from the purple I say as I pack it on okay I'm gonna add a little more um, blush but this is baked blush so it'll make me a little shiny and I'm just gonna add that as regular blush slash highlighter and then I put it on my nose of course as always yes I look like a pig I'm using pixie by Petra what I usually always forever use And then I'm gonna extend my eyebrow shape a little farther to accommodate the winged liner. You know what I'm saying? They're not the same shape, but that's okay because God created everybody equally. So after much consideration, I'm going to put on eyeliner. What I've been doing is I've been looking straight and then just making a line from here to here and then doing the same on the other side. And then f filling it in from the bottom to the top. But it doesn't matter because your eye makeup is dramatic enough so I'm just saying like this is like a new thing that I've been doing lately and then I kind of just fill it in connect the dots I've been trying to use this fucking pencil because it's gold but it doesn't show up so let me try and see if it'll show up now. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line to brighten it up. I kind of really like this color. I should use it more often. I'll use it in my inner corner also. I'm just gonna go over that with a color anyway. I guess I'll use Hula again. That's what I used for my brow bone. Then what I'm gonna do is eyelashes. So I'll do that off camera because I don't do anything special. So the final thing is the um, lips. Oh, I feel like I've aged since I started this video. So I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills and we'll go from there. This is the shade Trust Issues. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the middle just in case I like the look. If not, I'm just gonna go over it again, but... I'm gonna finish it off with setting spray. Uh, my head's been in a beanie for like days, so um, that's why I can't make it look nice. It's my excuse.
Uh, so here is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I can make some more um, videos. It just depends on what I do on the weekends. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Mahalo nui lo for everyone who watched. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a later one. Shoots!